Today we're at the Southeast Test Well Site number three in Eastern Polk County. We're testing the water quality and the water capacity of future wells for the Southeast Wellfield Project. I'm John Ferguson and I'm a senior professional geologist in the water supply section of the Southwest Florida Water Management District. The project is owned by the Polk Regional Water Cooperative, which is a collection of 15 municipalities in Polk County who are developing alternative water supplies for the region. As Polk County has continued to grow, increasing water withdrawals from the upper Florida aquifer have put a strain on lakes, wetlands, and natural systems. This project is part of the CFWI, which is the Central Florida Water Initiative. The CFWI is made up of the St. John's, South Florida, and Southwest Florida Water Management Districts. The CFWI is providing a uniform approach to water management across the three districts. The contractor is drilling down almost 2,000 feet below the surface where the water quality is going to be brackish in the lower Florida aquifer. The brackish water quality is saltier than fresh water, but not as salty as seawater. The water will be sent to the future Southeast Wellfield Water Treatment Facility. The water will be treated using reverse osmosis technology to develop high quality drinking water for the Polk County residents. They are drilling a production well and a monitor well down to the same depth. These wells are about 350 feet apart. They will be pumping the production well for about two weeks and measuring the drawdown in the monitor well. The test will determine how much water we can get from the aquifer and how many additional wells may be needed. Today they're pumping concrete into the outer annulus of the casing. They're at about 500 feet now. We also have monitor wells in the upper Florida and superficial aquifers to make sure that there's no negative impacts to the lakes and wetlands in this area. I'm a Florida native and I'm proud to work on projects like this that help minimize the impacts of growth on our wetlands and water resources and provide a sustainable water supply for the future.